Okay, let's pray. Hands together, close our eyes. All right, thank you, Lord. Thank you that the children can gather here today. And I pray, Lord, that they'll uh, learn today's story uh, of Peter and the vision that he had. So I just thank you, Lord, and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, who remembers... Who remembers what book we're up to? What book are we going through? Who knows? It's after the Gospels. What book are we up to? Peter. No, we're not up to the book of Peter. But we learn about Peter in this book. It's after the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Try again. Acts. Acts. Very good. So we're going through Acts. And today we are learning about Peter's vision of the Gentiles, and Philip has a bit of a game to go along with it as well. So the story starts with a man called Cornelius. Cornelius, and he's visited by this man, who has uh, quite girly hair in this picture, <laughs> long hair. This man's been an angel, <laughs> comes to him. So this man's name is Cornelius. Can you say that? Cornelius. Right, so he's an Italian man. Right, so he lives in Rome. What's his name? Cornelius. Cornelius. And he says to him, hey, you've got to send men to Joppa and, and ask for somebody called Peter. Right, so this is the disciple that they're asking for, Peter. It says here, Acts 10.5, and now send men to Joppa. Joppa. Can you guys say that? Joppa. Joppa, and call for one, Simon, whose surname is Peter. So we know Peter, the apostle, his full name is Simon Peter. And you know, that's who Simon's named after. Simon's named after Simon Peter, the apostle. So this is Simon's name, his surname is Peter. We know him more as Peter. So Cornelius gets two of the men in his household and a soldier. So how many is that? Sarah, three, three men, sends them down to Joppa, All right, one, two, three, how many men? Three. How many? Put your hand up, put your hand up Atticus, yes Atticus, three, very good, very good, three men. So, this is where Cornelius is in Caesarea, and they go down to Joppa, to look for, who are they looking for? Taya. Simon Peter, very good. Okay, now Simon Peter, he goes up onto a roof to pray. So he's praying, he's fasting as well, he's getting very hungry. And then he falls into a trance. What is a trance? A trance is when they get a vision from God. You know? And he sees his big sheet. These big sheep, all kinds of animals in there, unclean animals. Now what are unclean animals? Unclean animals are the ones you're not meant to eat in the Old Testament. They had clean and unclean. Today, we can eat all animals as long as we prepare them correctly. But back then, there were certain animals they're not allowed to eat and certain animals they could eat. So one of them they weren't allowed to eat in the Old Testament was pigs. So what sort of food do we get from pigs? What do you think? Pork. What's another one? Bacon, bacon and ham, very good, that's it. You can make sausages, mints, all sorts of things from pork. Well, in the Old Testament, they weren't allowed to eat pigs. So there might have been a pig in here somewhere. Hey, look here, there's a pig. And they're in clean animals. So he sees this vision, this big sheet coming down, all these animals in there. What does God say to him? And it says, and there came a voice to him, rise, Peter, kill and eat. Right, so prepare them for eating. Well, what does Peter say? Peter says, no, I can't. I can't eat anything that's unclean. This is the Old Testament laws. I've never anything that's unclean has come into my mouth. Hey, guys, just take a seat. Just get a seat in there, boys. And this happens three times. So three times the sheet comes down. God says, rise and eat. Peter says, no, no. Well, what is God trying to teach Peter here? God's trying to teach Peter that with the Jew, he was a Jew, and there were Gentiles, which were people that were not Jews, and he's saying, hey, there's no difference. You know, don't call you know, somebody who's not a Jew unclean 
that is that God has cleansed. So this is what God has said to him. So this is what Peter is trying to be taught here. God is teaching Peter, hey, you should not distinguish between people anymore. You know, they, they, God has cleansed them. We need to get the gospel to everybody, not just the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. Okay, so this is the vision that Peter has. Now, after he has this vision, what happens? Somebody comes up and calls Peter and says, some men are calling for you to come to find you. Now, how many men were there? Timothy. Three of them. Three, one, two, and the soldier. And you know what? They say that Cornelius is asking to see Peter. They ask Peter to come back to Caesarea with him. So Peter's thinking, oh, I just had this vision of these animals. God's telling me, hey, these unclean animals, I shouldn't call them unclean. And now the Gentiles, these Gentile people from Italy, right? Not from Israel, from, from Rome, come to ask for Peter and say, hey, we want to hear words from you. So Peter's starting to connect the dots. Got this vision from God, and now these people asking me to go see them. So he goes from, how do you say this? We'll say it together. Joppa to Caesarea. Caesarea. Now Peter is going with the three men back to Caesarea. When he gets there, Cornelius is happy to see him. Cornelius bows down and worships Peter. Now should Peter, Peter doesn't accept that. Don't bow down to any man, right? And worship them. Peter says, no, hey, stand up. I'm just a man. Don't worship me. And when he comes here, he sees there are a lot of people gathered here. See? To listen to the words that he speaks. And look at what he says here in Acts 10. He says, God hath showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Right? So he realizes, see, he's, he's calling some people clean, some people unclean. So what was God trying to teach him with the animals? Hey, there's no clean or unclean anymore, right? The gospel is for everybody. So Cornelius tells him, why have I got you here? Because Cornelius, remember, was approached by the angel and said, send for Peter. Peter came to him. So then Peter tells him what he saw with the animals. And he says to them, look, God is trying to show me that the gospel of Jesus Christ is not only for the Jews, but is also... Eyes up here, kids. Eyes up here, Matea. Eyes up here. Pay attention, please. It's for the Gentiles as well. And you know what? Remember what we learned about last week? What did we learn about last week? Is there, oh, you got to put your hand up. You want to say something? All right, Ryan, do you remember what we learned last week? The tongues, right? The gift of tongues. And you know what happened here? Peter, preaching the gospel to all these, he tells them that Jesus died and rose again from them. And you know what happened? They started speaking with the gift of tongues, speaking in different languages. And that's when Peter realizes the gospel and the Holy Spirit is not only for the Jews, but it's also for the Gentiles. So Peter says here, to him... That's Jesus. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. And that's when they start talking in different languages. And then he realizes the Holy Spirit is not only poured out on us, but also poured out on them. And then Peter says, hey, these people have to be baptized as well. All right, so what was the lesson? The gospel is for everybody, isn't it? Jesus Christ isn't only for the Jews, but also for the Gentiles, people that are not Jews. Everybody needs to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see if you are paying attention. No, no, swing your legs. Sit quietly, very good. Who remembers what was the name of the man from Rome that came and had the angel speak to him? Sarah. Cornelius, very good. And how many men did he send down to go see the disciple? Do you remember, Jordan? 
Three, very good. Ah, and didn't at the beginning, but you listening. That's good. Very good. And what was the disciples' name that they went to go see? Let's see. Atticus. Remember? No? Abel? You know? Who? Simon? Simon Peter. Simon Peter. There you go. Easy to remember. That's your name, isn't it? And what's the last? Maybe one last question. Hmm. Who remembers this name of the city Peter was in? You remember, Ryan? No, that was where Cornelius was from. That's, uh, they were in Caesarea and they went down to. <laughs> Close. J -j -j Jupa. J Joppa. Very good. I knew you had it there. Just pronouncing it right, I think. All right, very good. So, this is what we learned about the sheet coming down. So, Philippa today has a game for us. We're going to remember the vision of the sheet coming down with the unclean animals. All right, thanks, Philippa.